Hey, what's up? So I started playing Arkham Knight this year. First time playing in 2023. I know, I'm a loser. Something has become very apparent to me within the game while I was playing it. Uh, and the thing that has been made apparent to me is I hate the Riddler. This is nothing new. Everyone has complained about the Riddler trophies in all manner of these Arkham games. But I want to complain too because I just had a very specific experience and I thought I would share it. And the specific experience that really just started making my whole immersion in the Arkhamverse crumble was that I was in the middle of the fight with the Arkham Knight, like this big emotional climax of the game. For anyone that doesn't know, the Arkham Knight boss fight involves sneaking up on the Arkham Knight under his perch point as he's like sniping down on you and then you do a takedown. But uh, I was in the middle of doing this, you know, sneaking my way up Batman style and uh, about maybe... 10, 15 feet away from the point where I got the prompt, I just noticed a Riddler trophy. And it just, it just completely took me out of the game. I was just like, I gotta stop fighting that guy to pick up this dumb guy's trophy, who I hate, but otherwise I have to come back here to pick this up. So I gotta pick this up now. It really just broke my immersion so much that Batman would be there like, all right, I gotta sneak up on the Arkham Knight. Oh, shoot. I need this because the Riddler told me to get it. And instead of just going and punching him or nuking his base, I'm going to play by his rules. And then I started thinking about like the other trophies in the game. And the ones that really bothered me were the ones that were located in Panessa Studios. For anyone unaware, Panessa Studios is basically the bat cave in this game. Like it's the location where there's clearly a big bat computer and Batman has all of his equipment set up. And for a game that's marketed as Be the Batman, I uh, I walked into Vanessa Studios after having this like we weird crisis of confidence in the Riddler trophies. And I walked in and just went, what the hell? There's Riddler trophies all over the Batcave. Who got in here? Robin, you've been here the whole time. What's happened? What's that? The city's in danger? And as my well-trusted and very capable sidekick, you want to help out? Well, stay here and think about what you've done. Side note, Batman seems to hate Tim Drake in these games, and I'm not a fan of it. I like Tim Drake. He's a pretty cool character. So, uh, Batman, why don't you treat Tim Drake better? That's, that's rude. Anyway, the Riddler. It's just one of those things that really breaks my immersion in the world. Like, I think that it would suit a lot better if the Batcave was the one place that's locked down and that the Riddler couldn't get to. Because he even, like, he must have some kind of future side or something, because he even gets managed to get Riddler trophies onto the airships that are above Gotham that Batman definitely needs to get to. And I'm just like, how did, how did he do this? And it's like, oh, Batman, I have a whole robot army that did it. So no one saw the robots just freaking pimping around the city and placing trophies everywhere and these really complicated things. I just, I, oh, God. And don't even get me started on the underground race courses. Like, you didn't notice the damn seismic activity there, Batman? And I really like these games. They're some of the best comic book video games you've ever gotten. But there's something that just doesn't sit right with me that Rocksteady Studios didn't kind of think, hey, this is the one place that the Riddler could not get to. Like, and I know it's a video game and people would be like, oh, well, it's a video game. You gotta have collectibles. Yeah, but I'm also Batman. And if... Someone sneaks a damn Riddler trophy into my home base. I am locking that place down, you know? Like, it's just, it's something that really, it's just one of those immersion breaking things that's like, just makes me very aware that I'm playing a video game instead of immersing me in the world. Because every other point in the game, I am like, oh man, I'm chasing down Hush. I'm following up in this crap with the Joker and Nightwing. I'm helping out the Penguin. Two-Face is robbing banks, everything else. And then I'm there, Riddler is trying to freaking taunt me over the citywide microphones. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I gotta pick up his dumb trophy. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got nothing else in this. I just really, like, my whole world of Be the Batman came crumbling down. And I just realized I was there picking up this dumb green guy's trophies and just going, oh, another one. Just another 240 to go. <laughs> Ah, 